I'm going to show how I was uh, taught to use the Ichiro powder bowl. Now I don't have one, so we're just I made up a mock one here, just a spool and a pencil. But you get the idea. I'm going to first show you how the traditional way of using it is uh, employed. What people do is they take the powder ball and they tap up and down the length of the sword, leaving clumps. And then they take their uh, cloth and they rub that in and they clean the dust off and that takes the oil off. And that is the traditional way they've been taught to do it. The problem, I've been told, with doing that is it damages the sword. Now the first reason it damages the sword is when you tap the powder ball, what you're really doing is knocking out larger and larger particles of this dust onto your sword. And so you get these clumps, and these clumps are a mixture of light particles, but also the very heavy ones that got driven out. And that's the problem, because when you scratch the sword like this, it leaves the finish marred. Now, the way I was taught that if you're going to use it, they advise you not using it, but if you want to use it, because it's a tradition, and it's your sword, after all, you can do what you want. This is how you're supposed to do it. Don't tap the ball on the sides of the blade and leave those clumps. Rather, what you want to do is turn the sword and tap only the spine. And what you're after is a gentle, the dust flows basically sideways, and then the lightest particles land on the sword. And that's what you do. You, put the, you go like here, and you do the same thing. You want only a light dusting, a very even light dusting, so you don't have clumps. An even better way to do this so you know you're not driving any heavy particles out of your powder bowl is to tap only on this support stem under the powder bowl. And you want to put just this lightest dusting in the air of, uh, of the particles from the powder bowl. And then when you rub that in, you're not scratching your sword. Thank you.